Have you ever wondered why monks spend so much time training for months and years on end? Why they spend so much time in solitude in temples and in the mountains and forests? Well, you've come to the right place to find out. Shaolin monks spend their entire lives training and improving to be able to hone in and master almost superhuman abilities. We are going to go through the brutal training they go through and what crazy abilities they gain along the way. Shaolin monks can perform incredible feats of mental and physical prowess that appear impossible. They bang their heads against each other to harden their skulls and punch trees with their fingers to develop immense strength which enables them to do a handstand on just two fingers. They run up and down stone stairways on all fours without getting tired and they seem to do this with absolute ease. So how do they do it? To be able to do a handstand on just two fingers, monks spend years practicing and strengthening their fingers. The reason behind the Shaolin monks' incredible finger strength is their intense training. They train for years to make their fingers as hard as iron. They start by finger punching bowls filled with dirt and gradually move on to the level where they punch thick trees and actually make holes in them that are as deep as five inches. Imagine being so strong that you can make holes in trees. Bo Ding Gong is another practice in which monks drive a nail into a tree or a piece of wood and attempt to pull it out using a thumb and two fingers. Over time, this gives them immense strength in their fingers. If you thought strong fingers were cool, just imagine being able to walk on water or being able to change your body temperature on command. Some monks have been known to walk and run on water. They achieve this incredible feat by practicing the skill of light body. This intense training regime starts off by making young monks walk along the rim of a water-filled bowl while wearing a backpack. As they progress, the water is removed and more weight is added. This practice enables them to walk on water, hang from thin branches without breaking them, or even walking on grass without crumbling it. Shaolin monks have also been known to maintain and control their body temperatures. A yoga technique known as Tim Mo allows them to do so by entering a state of deep meditation. Monks have been known to stay warm in chilling temperatures in the Himalayas. On the other hand, Ji Tumo meditators are monks who have been known to dry wet bed sheets by wrapping them around their bodies in increasing temperatures. Truly fascinating. You must have seen the famous video of a monk bursting a balloon on the other side of a glass by throwing a needle through it. The key to this exercise is striking the glass directly with the needle's point at a quick speed and as close to a 90 degree angle as possible. This is not easy and requires extreme concentration as well as mind-muscle coordination. Yet, the monks make it look so easy. They throw needles through glass so precisely that only a hole big enough for the needle to pass is created without shattering the glass. Along with all these crazy capabilities, Shaolin monks also have superhuman strength, amazing flexibility, and an extremely high threshold for pain. Even at a young age, students are seen to wrap their entire bodies around tree trunks and stay that way for hours on end which is extremely difficult and unusual. You would not be able to mentally conceive the notion that a human body can bend that way, and yet they do it for hours at a stretch. Monks spend their entire lives undergoing mental chan and physical quan training. 
they learn how to control an energy force known as qi through meditation. It takes discipline and awareness to embody this concept. Through this, they are able to phase out pain entirely. Monks are the masters of meditation, and they achieve such levels that they can even stop feeling pain. Monks have been seen walking on coal and fire, casually sitting in boiling water, and spending weeks in extremely cold temperatures. They are not just strong from the inside, monks also spend years hardening their exteriors. Some monks develop such strength that hard, sharp objects like spears cannot pass through their skin. A monk even had a drill machine used on his body, and it did not cause any damage, much less go through. Shaolin monks trained to make their private parts resistant to impact from kicks or knee butts. <laughs> 